show you a real quick thing here that I've got. This is my Harman pellet stove. And you can see I cut a hole in the side of it and I've got a plate stuck in there. Pardon the mess, I've been down here working. Uh, anyway, I run it up through basically a couple of automotive style thermostats. This is designed by a guy named Tommy. I can get you his website link later on if you want. He specializes in this stuff. Goes over to a, now let me show you the finger loops in here first. So the water goes through those loops right there. I still get the use of my pellet stove. Plus I'm heating my hydronic floor. Comes across here. There's my continue flow, continuously flowing pump. And then I have this uh, eight gallon or six gallon uh, deactivated uh, electric water heater for a mix tank. So the stove mixes in this way. My hydronics mix this way to and from the floor. And they mix in there and I've got a snap switch set on my taco valve over here on a regular old DC pump. And that thing comes on at 100 and uh, I think it's 130 or 135 degrees and goes off about, oh, about 110. And that gives me, I've got plain old valves, very simple. Uh, it just gives me a good rise in here. We keep this 6,000 square foot house about 68 degrees. And uh, I've got two zones, one for the basement and one for the upstairs. And uh, that's just another, another way of thinking. If you're gonna run pellets anyway, you can do domestic water, you can do um, your hydronic heat, you can do storage tanks. Um, your imagination is all that's really gonna limit you. I do run that off of a true sine wave inverter because the brain and the better stoves are a little bit uh, temperamental. They don't like a modified sine wave inverter. So this is, uh, this is just a different way of thinking, a little outside the box, if you will, and uh, something to think about.